Welcome to Ask Anonia's education series on using your Samsung Galaxy Tab A tablet. This video aims to give you an overview of your tablet and basic functions. Let's begin. Your tablet will come with the following items. A tablet, a USB power adapter, a USB cord, a USB to microconverter, an ejection pin. Looking at the front of your tablet, you'll see the screen and a front-facing camera. On the left-hand side is where you'll find a memory card tray. And on the right-hand side, beginning at the top of the device, is your power button, followed by volume buttons. At the bottom of the device, you'll find a USB port. Looking at the back of your device, you'll see a rear camera. You can use your tablet vertically like a phone or horizontally, more like a monitor. For these demonstrations, we'll orient the tablet both ways for different apps. Charging your device. In order to charge your device, plug the large end of the USB cord into the power adapter. Next, plug in the small end into the bottom of your tablet. Finally, plug the adapter into an outlet. Make sure to regularly charge your tablet. If your tablet doesn't turn on, it may mean you need to charge the battery. Turning your tablet on. To turn your tablet on, press and hold the power button until the device vibrates and you see a startup screen. Let's go through some of the basic functions of your tablet. If your tablet is already powered on, wake the device by pressing the power button once. Swipe with one finger from left to right on the screen to unlock your device. Enter your password and select OK. Remember, your password is unique. This is your home screen. A quick look will show you three very important buttons at the bottom of the screen. The three lines depicted, also known as a hamburger button, when pressed will show you all of the apps you have open. The middle square is your home button. If you're ever wanting to get back to this home screen, press this button. Finally, the back button. This will help you navigate backwards one step in different apps. If you swipe up from the bottom with one finger, this will display all of the apps loaded onto your tablet. Pressing the home button will take you back to your home screen. Now let's review a few of the applications you have access to. A calculator, which is also a unit converter, a clock, the photo gallery, a camera, a web browser, a calendar. Now just because you can't see an app open, doesn't mean it's not running in the background. Select the hamburger button to display all of your running apps. You can navigate to a recently opened app from here by tapping it. Or you can close a few or all of them to preserve battery life. Swipe up on an app to close just it. Or select the close all apps button to close all of your applications. Let's take a quick look at your tablet settings. At your home screen, swipe up to reveal all of your apps. Select the Settings app, which looks like a gear or cog. Here you can navigate Here you can navigate to customize the way your tablet appears and performs. For instance, if you'd like the text to be displayed larger, select Display. Then select Font Size and Style. Now using the scroll at the bottom of the page, you can adjust how large text will appear. Again, you can use the back button to navigate backwards to the main settings screen, or press the home button to get back to the home screen. If you ever feel like you made an error in adjusting your device settings, try resetting your device. From the home page, swipe up. Select Settings. Scroll down and select General Management. And select Reset. Select Reset Settings. 
and finally tap Reset Settings one more time. Turning your tablet off. To turn your tablet off, hold the power button down until you see the options for Power Off and Restart. Select Power Off and tap once more to confirm.